uh, a super majority doesn't necessarily assure you that you're able to railroad each and every bill or legislation that you want. Um, ngay- ngayon, mas, magi- mas na mas buzzword yung, yung super majority, but I have to be clear that previous presidents, and not just talking about Duterte, but even the late President Aquino, had a super majority technically, pero hindi, hindi ganun ka-hyped up yung term na super majority yeah. siguro nung time na yun. So, but, but, and yet, um, Duterte, not all of, I mean, look at federalism, right? Like, it just, nakalimutan na lang siya bigla sa 17th Congress. Parang, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. uh, diba, as, parang sobrang hot niya nung first three years, tapos biglang, parang nakalimutan siya together, parang everyone suddenly forgot na they were pushing for federalism. Anyway, um, I think that's that's where the politics of it all comes in. Uh, a lot of things. Like for example, you think about the president's political capital. How much does he have left um, in terms of pushing for legislation that he wants? Uh, why is this important? Because, of you're going to negotiate with your allies. Even your allies, you have to negotiate with them. Hindi po kit allies sila or syempre iba-ibang degree yun. Parang siguro kung mas may utang loob, utang na loob ang isang legislator, mas madali na siguro mag-push ng legislation. But for others, diba, it'll need more convincing. It might entail favors. Um, and and that, I know that sounds very negative, but I mean, I, I, I say favors in a neutral way. Favors na, oh, sige, we're gonna give this budget to your province or to your city or to your municipality or your, or your district. Uh, to fund uh, a bridge, a, a farm to road project. So, mga kung quote unquote parochial concerns na of the legislators. Um, isang factor din, gaano kagaling yung allies mo, yung leaders mo in, in Congress. So, kaya important to pick an effective uh, House Speaker of, given na yun, House Speaker, Senate President, yeah. given na yun. But you have to think about who, your, is your majority leader a broker? Like, uh, will he or she be able to whip? The, the house into order kung bagay na hindi, ito yung gagawin natin. Uh, kung ayaw mo ng ganito, and this is the dark third side here of the house, may punishment din involved sometimes. It's not ideal, but it has happened before na if a uh, legislator uh, who is technically part of the majority but doesn't follow through with what the majority wants, uh, they get punished. And the punishment isn't actually very fair if you think about it. Kasi yung nangyayari, minsan yung distrito yung uh, nagsasuffer. Nawawala ng pondo, mga, nawawala ng chair. Okay, okay lang sana yung malala yung pondo. Yung mas okay pa sana nawawala ng chairmanships or ng committee memberships yung yung legislator na yun. So yun, mga, mga bargaining din. And of course, um, yung isang factor, internal strife within whichever chamber. Um, kasi diba isipin mo, ang dami mo nang kailangan hearing, ang dami yung uh, minsan may probe by an investigation and investigation in aid of legislation, legislation. Ganun. and then if you have internal drama or or conflict pa right that's another layer to add and on top of that you have the budget um hindi yeah. pa nag submit ng budget yung marcos administration because they have they do have 30 days after the delivery of the sona so end of the month uh, so by september basically you know yung magiging uh, it, the, the the house and the senate's time will be devoted to deliberating on the on the budget so a lot of things uh time so to summarize siguro time political capital and and yung ability of your house and senate leaders to really whip people into shape